But I mean, just so you know, like, it's not exactly like it was my idea to be part of your family anyway. So I know that you guys think you're all that because you're, you know, big sports stars and whatnot. But, you know, honestly, you're really not. <laughs> and now he's all, now he just got up because he's all like, let me just take a breather. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Ketchy, aka OBGEM. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. We are back with another episode of Growing Up Genki. And before we jump right in, I have been fooling around my hashtag as I've been doing a whole lot of work on a whole lot of LPs lately. So, my hashtag on the gallery for submitting sims for my mini LPs is ob gem sims it'll pop up on the screen in just a second so if you guys are interested in seeing your young adult teen sims or even adult sims i'll take all ages or different plans for every lp so sims of all age groups are definitely in demand please go ahead and send your sims under that hashtag and i'll be checking that hashtag on the gallery regularly just to see the sims that are submitted and We'll possibly do some makeovers either on videos or on the stream whether it's youtube or twitch by the way i stream on twitch my info for my church channel is in the details section below so if you guys want to hang out and see me make over your sims on twitch do you hit that follow but with that aside we are going to jump right into things with this episode of Growing Up Genki. So if you guys remember from last episode, we kind of had that awful dinner that kind of went awry with Hana, her parents, and the Ito family. And we learned quite a lot about the goings on with the Ito family. So obviously right away we learned that Megumi is, well, I don't know why she is like staring at this door very di- Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna go and there we go. <laughs> so as, as you guys can remember from the last time, we kind of got some revelations with the Itos, specifically that Megumi is not really a huge fan of the Hitoshi families. She kind of sees them as lower class peasants and she's not really all that pleased with Hana marrying into their family just because she thinks that Kiyoshi can do better. But of course, Naoki it really kind of pushed for it. I think he really took a liking to Hiro and he thought, hey, Kiyoshi already seems to have an interest in um, Hana, so why don't we just kind of introduce him to the family? Right now, we just kind of need somebody who's going to support Kiyoshi and his career, and Kiyoshi is actually going to be planning on following in his mother's footsteps and becoming like a gold medalist skier so he's kind of carrying on that family tradition and just as Naoki is the support system for Megumi while she's the big star in the family he's thinking hey Hana can be that for Kiyoshi and I already caught wind that that Yume's family is pretty fertile so we won't have any issues with her being able to produce an error and carry on the Ito name, which at this point is more important than finding him somebody within the same class. And Kiyoshi's been kind of going along with it. He kind of took a liking to Hana, as you guys have seen quite a bit in the past couple of episodes, that kind of weird energy, that kind of buzzing attraction there. But we're going to actually be delving deeper into the Ito family, and Kiyoshi has some secrets of his own. He actually had a budding romance with another family in town, but his family kind of put the kibosh on that because there's a family feud between them. If you guys have the Snowy Escape pack, you probably know what I am talking about. But we will get into that when it is relevant in this series. For now, we're going to jump right where we left off. If you guys remember, Hiro and Yume left kind of in a tizzy last night because they kind of got into a heated argument between them and Hana. And I think that we'll let's let's give some let's give Kage some love here. <laughs> and um they kind of left on a sour note because uh, as they've been doing, they've kind of just been leaving Hana in the lurch for the, you know, 
for all of the things related to the arranged marriage and it kind of all blew up on them when she learned the full extent of things oh look hero's calling naoki they are doing a doll cafe theme at this cafe today i was wondering if you wanted to come with uh, they become such good friends. In fact, before they left, before Hiro and Yume left uh, after the dinner, he and Naoki actually became best of friends. So he's probably going to meet up and see, you know, how are things going with my daughter? Is she fitting in? Is she settling in? But I'm actually not going to have Naoki go because I do want to spend a bit of time with Hana. She has been keeping a brave face, but honestly, she's feeling a bit sad. She's all like, I feel a little bit awkward here. I don't really have anybody here except for Kage. And um, she's feeling a little bit homesick. She misses her mom and, and even her dad, even though she got into a big fight with both of them. And even though they don't live too far away, if you guys remember the the Ito, the Hitoshi house is not that far from here. I can't really see. Oh, there it is, right here. <laughs> So she's within walking distance, but she just kind of feels really distant with them right now. I'm actually gonna have Hana just clean up after her. <laughs> after Kage. Oh, look at him being outside. <laughs> she's gonna clean up after him, but she just kind of feels like a woman on an island right now because she's all like, they're a family together and I'm having to fit into this whole thing and I'm just feeling a bit awkward. And honestly, she's feeling, she's feeling a bit of the... Oh, let's get Kagi something to eat. I think it's both empty. <laughs> she's feeling kind of the the energy from Megumi that she's not really a fan of her, and it's making her feel a little bit unwelcomed here. She's not obviously used to it. Oh wait, Kage. Oh wait, no, it's empty. It's both empty. Let's go ahead and we'll fill this and we'll call Kage. So she's just been kind of keeping to herself and you know Kage because Kage is really the only family she feels like she has right now. But she's going to try and fit in with them. Can you not reach the bowl? Come on, girl. Let's do this. So, the fact that Hana's been kind of keeping to herself has been kind of like making Megumi dislike her even more. She's all like... So at this point, Megumi's kind of like been ignoring Hana and just pretending like she doesn't exist. She's all like, this girl kind of came into our family and I kind of expect her to really bend over backwards and show her worth here and she's not really been stepping up. I expected to wake up this morning and have a lavish breakfast that she put together for her to be bowing to me and, you know, calling me mother and asking how she can, you know, be of use in this family and she's not been doing any of these things and I just really think that she's pretty disrespectful and she doesn't understand her place here and I just don't know where to go with this like I think that this is something that she needs to figure out her role in things I shouldn't have to really be going out of my way to explain to this girl what her use here is so as you can see like <laughs> It's really, she's really on edge. Look at Megumi. She's all, I think she's kind of, uh, her ear, her irritableness is kind of coming out with her family. And now he's all like, you know, honey, like, you know, calm your voice down. Like, and because he knows that Megumi's been kind of not really a fan of what's going on so now he actually has a plan to kind of have a family dinner they're going to go out and he's hoping that during this family dinner they can kind of really enforce to Hana what her role is here in this family but yeah like Hana is really feeling it that she doesn't really feel like she belongs here and she just she's just she's not she's not she's not for this right now Oh, that's nice. So despite the fact that she's not really feeling the love for Megumi, I think that in ways, Naoki kind of reminds her a little bit of her dad. So she actually asked Naoki for some advice and she gained a sentiment with him, which that's actually quite good. She's all like, look, I miss my dad and you and my dad are, are good friends and I just, I hope you'll take good care of me. Mr. Ito. He's like, of course, you are our daughter now, and we'll be sure to make try and make you feel welcome. We just want to make sure that 
you understand your your place here and that's reassuring to hana but for megumi she's really still ignoring her she's all like this girl should be coming to me and figuring out what it is that she should be doing in this family to feel like she belongs and until she does that i am going to pay her absolute dust it looks like hana is trying to get to know nanami they did talk a little bit when they were kids but she kind of strayed away from the friendship when she found out that nanami was kiyoshi's brother but now that they have to live together she's kind of becoming reacquainted with her now she's like hi nanami like i hope we get to be you know real sisters like I know that this is kind of odd us living together and we have to share a room now, but like I hope we can become good friends. And you know, Nanami is definitely here for giving a shot. She's all like, yeah, it's weird that we live together now, but I certainly would be into kind of giving a shot, having a new sister. It's new for me, I'm just used to having a brother, but you know, we can we get to know each other and find things out. So I'm probably going to have Hana take a nap. She didn't really get much sleep last night because of what happened with her, her parents last night. And so she's kind of a little bit tired. She probably is going to take a power nap on the couch because she's, again, she's feeling a bit uncomfortable. She does have like uh, a bed upstairs that Ito family did provide her as some accommodations. They, you know, added a bed to Nanami's room. So Nanami's used to having her own room. So she wasn't really all that pleased with the fact that, well, shoot, now I have to share my room. So that's not really something that I'm really all that jazzed about. But she understands like how Kiyoshi is the heir of the family and they're preparing for him to kind of take over things. So she kind of just has to go along with it. So she's trying to just be like, okay, I guess okay i guess i can you know get on board with this but like despite the fact that she's going to try and become friends with with hana she's a little bit annoyed she's like you know like i don't understand why this is my problem but nanami is off to school nanami and hana are actually going to be going to different schools but hana's on holiday from her school and the Hito the itos are kind of you know putting together their plans for where they want to send hana to so that she can be in the best position to kind of you know get, get acquainted with being kiyoshi's intended but yeah this is where hana is going to be sharing her room with with with, ne with nanami and they kind of set up this smaller desk for her to sit you know they, they gave her some accommodations but again like only so much Oh, looks like Hana needs to uh, go ahead and take herself a bath. She's kind of been neglecting herself since she's been kind of upset, but she's going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to make sure things are set up so that the Ito family can have their welcome to the family dinner with Hana. So Hana did get out of her shower and Kiyoshi decided to settle in with her and kind of sit at the table to have a chat. And he's all like, you know, how are things settling for you? And she's like, you know, this isn't really what I was expecting for, you know, how I would be going into like my high school years. So I am surviving, but as you can imagine, like, this isn't quite what I saw for myself. And he's like, yeah, I understand, but you know, this is the, the way things are. And honestly, I am quite excited to have you as my fiance because I just think that you're really a spirited girl. And he's, she's all like, yeah, but like, don't you think this is weird? Like, you and I really haven't spent a whole lot of time together. And he's like, you know, I'm an open book, so just let me know whatever you want to know about me. Like, I would like for us to grow closer together since we're going to be building a life together. And Hana is kind of a little bit weirded out by this. She's all like... Like, I'm, I don't know about this whole idea of building a life together and whatnot. It's not really what I planned for myself. She's like, yeah, I mean, I hope to learn more about you, I guess. But just know that right now, like, I still am a whole lot uncomfortable with a lot of this. And Kiyoshi's, yeah, of course, that makes sense. But I am willing to do what it takes to make you feel 
a lot more comfortable about this like that really is important to me like i i know hana that you might think that a lot of this was forced but like honestly like i want you to have a good time here and be good with me and hana's like you know we'll see but i'm gonna do what i need to do to find out a little bit more about the ito clan to see if maybe i can find a way out of this and no kiyoshi is not going to university <laughs> Oh, look at Hana playing with Kage. Oh, Kiyoshi hates Kage. Well, if there was ever a way to get to Hana's heart, not liking Kage is a bad start, Kiyoshi. So I don't know what you need to do to fix that, but she's definitely not going to like you if you don't like her dog. So Anna's definitely looking to take up Kiyoshi on his offer to be an open book and let her know more about him and the family. So she is sitting down with him. She's all like, you know, I do have a holiday from school right now. So, you know, I guess we can talk and we can find out some more. And of course, Kiyoshi's excited to hear that she's interested and, in, you know, talking and get to know him more. But Hana's uh, ulterior motives is like, look. Kiyoshi is going to be loose with his lips right now. He might spill some dirt that I can leverage to get out of this whole thing. So I'm going to do what I can do to make him think that I care about being his fiance. And maybe he might slip up and tell me something I can use. Come on, that is such a devilish girl. Look at her. Look at the look on her face. <laughs> she, she looks like she's up to no good, but... Honestly, like, obviously, Kyoshi is not realizing that she's up to anything, so it's possible he might say something that she can use to leverage. So she's all like, yeah, you know, tell me some more about your family and what you all like. And he's like, you know, we're a pretty regular family. We're into sports and whatnot, and so that is our trade. And it looks like he had to go and do some research on our play chess it looks like <laughs> on the computer and she wasn't really able to get a whole lot out of him unfortunately oh hero stop so it looks like hero's still feeling a little bit hurt by how hana handled this whole arranged marriage situation so instead of reaching out to hana He's been texting Kiyoshi, I think, to maybe get some feelers into, you know, how is my daughter doing? And I think this is, like, his roundabout way of, like, trying to still see that she's okay, and even though they're kind of in a bad place right now. So, like, even though this is, like, a weird message to send, I'll surely miss you when you're gone while you miss me. It seems like he might be hinting around to see, you know, hey, Kiyoshi, like, are we cool? Because if we're cool... I need for you to make sure that my daughter is cool because I miss her, which is sad. But and Kiyoshi's gonna be like, yes, of course, Mr. Hichuchi, everybody will miss you when you're gone, which is just what Hiro needs to hear because, you know, he he's really wanting to know that his daughter misses him. I'm gonna have Hana put this cake away because to her, this is the last meal that her mother kind of left her and she's all like, I want to make sure that it's taken care of and that I savor every last bit of the cake because I don't know the next time I'm going to get a home home cooked meal for my mother and I miss her. She's mad at her, but she misses her. So all of the Itos are back for the day. Nanami's back from school and Naoki's back from work and also Megumi is back from work. And as you can see, she is in quite the mood. She is aware of the fact that they're going out to have a family dinner tonight, and she's just not into it. As I mentioned before, she feels like Hana hasn't kind of made her way in their family in the way that she would like her to. She would like for her to be a little, have a little bit of humility to her and kind of bend to her, to, to look to her for how she can find her space in the family. She hasn't been doing it, so she's all like, not in the best mood for this dinner. She's like, I guess we'll, you know, prepare to go out tonight, but I'm not really with it. But like the weird thing is, Hero actually invited himself over. He's been missing his little girl, as I mentioned, and 
he hasn't known the right way to kind of reach out and so he's been kind of using Kiyoshi as the go-between to kind of figure out how he can find out what's going on with Hana and since like Kiyoshi's answers haven't really shed a whole lot of light on how Hana's feeling he decided to invite himself over to invite himself over to to, to see for himself if Hana is okay Hana is actually upstairs at taking a nap right now like I mentioned she didn't have really the best day as last night but you know I'm probably gonna have her wake up just to like see like what's going on with her dad coming over and just make sure and prep the entire family for going out to eat tonight so now he went ahead and invited Hiro and he's like you know what brings you by and he was like yeah you know i was uh just coming to check in on hana has she been doing all well and now he's like yeah she's been you know settling in we were actually preparing to go for a family dinner to kind of really welcome her in and also kind of make up for the kind of weird one we had last night and i was like great that all sounds good i just you know have been worried about her because you know i haven't heard from her since she's come here and he's like you know how the girls are you know she, she she's just trying to find her place and feeling right now and she's probably you know consumed with that just hasn't found the time he was like yeah i just I, we didn't end things on the best note hana and i and i've just you know it's been bugging me he's like look you know hero just don't get too worked up over it i'm sure things will all you know work themselves out but I honestly think that this is good for her, her finding her own way here and kind of detaching herself from your household in that sense. That way it'll make it easier for her to continue on with things with Kiyoshi. And he's like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And, you know, deep down, Hiro's just, he's feeling a bit hurt and he, he misses Hana. It's his little girl, that's his baby. So, you know, Hiro is hoping that Hana will show her face. But Hana is not sure that she's ready for all of that just yet. She actually um, went ahead and um, she saw him come in through the window and she was all like, what is dad doing here? And she saw him go into Naoki's office to chat. She's like, no, I don't know if I'm really prepared to uh, see and talk to dad right now. I... I am feeling still type some type of way about how things went down and I think I'm just going to stay you know out of the way and out of sight until dad leaves because I just I don't I don't want to talk to him just yet until I figured out figure out what I am going to do with this situation Oh, but it looks like Kiro had other plans. He ran into Hana and he's all like, oh, there she is. That's my baby girl. He's like, Hana, like, I've been trying to reach you this entire time and you just haven't been talking uh, or responding back. And Hana's like, oh, geez, dad. So I'm probably just going to have Hana just get a little bit uh, snippy with him. Just, just a bit because she is just not she's gonna she's gonna act tough and then she's gonna go ahead and go ahead and uh, just demand some independence away from him and say look dad like this is what you wanted right i'm trying to figure out this whole situation with the ito family so that's what i'm gonna do and honestly dad i think you should just go home like i don't know why you came over here like, unless the, you're hoping to apologize to me, then I just, I, I don't really want to hear it from you. So I'm going to go ahead and just have her send a hero home. And it looks like Nanami just kind of inserted herself into their whole conversation, which is a thing. But, you know, I'm just going to have her first just go ahead and say, you know, God, you should just, you should just go away right now. Like, I don't, I don't know why you thought that. It was a good idea to come over here, especially if it wasn't to just, you know, apologize for how things went down, because honestly, I feel you owe that to me. Oh, and Hero is, even though he can't really tell from his face right now, but 
You can tell from the sentiment. He's pretty hurt. I think he's trying to p keep a brave face because I don't think he wants to like leave the Ito, fan the Ito household looking upset right now. He is really feeling like she really, my little girl really doesn't want to talk to me right now. I just don't know where to go with that. And Hana is just like, you know, I'm just not, I'm just not ready to forgive dad for this whole situation just yet. So <laughs> she kind of looks a bit happy to see him go. That is actually better sweet for her. She's all like, I don't want dad here right now. I do miss him and mom. I just wish things could go back before this whole fiasco ever happened. And certain things you just can't you just can't go back you just can't take back so this is where things are right now with our family but i'm gonna go ahead and have the ito household get a, go ahead and prepare for their family dinner so here we are at the hazakura grill this actually was a lounge in the original world but i changed it over to a restaurant lot just so that we had at least one restaurant in this world it was all bars and lounges before but now we've got a restaurant so everybody is dressed to impress for this dinner naoki did put together a family reservation so they could all come here so i'm going to go ahead and have them go ahead and request their table that was set aside for them this place this is actually quite beautiful, but I'm actually concerned that this is going to be a routing nightmare because of the amount of hulkies in here. We're going to play it by ear and see that, you know, make sure it works out. But the table that is set up for them is up here, which is nice that it's away from everybody else because, you know, that way we will certainly not have any issues with random townies coming in here and telling us or getting into our conversation so i'm gonna go ahead and have them go ahead and request their table so they didn't quite sit at the table i wanted them to sit at which is very annoying because this table originally didn't even have enough chairs for them to all sit here and hana was sitting at a completely different table which is a whole thing but I went into build mode and added a chair so them sitting here can make sense. <laughs> but they are all sitting here and gathered together and dressed to the nines for this dinner. Although Hana was a bit rebellious, Nanami let her know. She goes, yeah, we're having this family dinner and it would probably be a good idea to dress pretty, you know, conservative to be, you know, to, to put, you know, have a good impression with my parents and so she's like well i don't know what that means as far as <laughs> dressing conservatively and anatomy's like oh you know like just making sure that you know your arms are covered up your chest is covered up your legs are covered up you know if you're going to wear like you know a dress it is a little bit you know shorter then it'd probably be a good idea to wear stockings you know sensible shoes and whatnot and i was like oh, okay got it so in response to that Ahana decided to wear a dress that has no stockings and is on a little bit of shorter side <laughs> she's all like i kind of feel compelled to get a little bit under their skin so as you can see Hana's showing some leg there <laughs> and um, Megumi saw her leave the house like that and, and was none too pleased so Megumi's kind of at her, 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 her last straw. Now he's like thinking this is going well we're going to just let her know everything but Megumi is just she's all like you know what before we get everything started I really need to sort this girl out so I'm gonna actually have her discuss everything she's like you know hana how are you doing tonight i you know realized that when you came in here you really didn't say hello to me and you know just be in touch with what's going on in our family by talking to me and i just you know find that a little bit disrespectful and so hana is a bit caught off guard by that she's all like oh i mean i didn't mean to be disrespectful miss ito mrs ito and she's like yes well you were and i'm going to actually have megumi kind of like really chew her out about it because you know megumi is not she's not about it she's not here for it 
So Megami is all like, before we jump into everything with this dinner, I do want to just say that I, I think you need to understand your place here. You are here to be Kiyoshi's fiance and to be able to effectively do that you need to answer to me to see how it is you can fit into this family and Hana's all like well I mean I'm sorry uh, Mrs. Ito I'm just not used to that type of thing she's like well I need for you to get used to it because that is what is expected of you from now on so of course Hana's very caught off guard by this she didn't realize that she had snuck on to being on Megumi's bad side and now it's just like well shoot now I need to just kind of figure out my way out of this a whole lot sooner because the last thing I need is for Mrs. Ito to be coming for my neck because you know that is not exactly what I, I signed up for so I'm gonna have Hana actually just do a petty jab back because at this point she's all like sis is coming for my neck and you know I need to show her that you know I am not one to be messed with either so she's all like but I mean just so you know like it's not exactly like it was my idea to be part of your family anyway so I know that you guys think you're all that because you're you know big sports stars and whatnot but, you know, honestly, you're really not. <laughs> and now he's all, now he just got up because he's all like, let me just take a breather because things just got a little bit more in intense than I was hoping they would be. So I'm just going to go real quickly and go get some air. But Kiyoshi's going to try and smooth things over in his dad's place and he goes, like, mom, don't be too hard on Hana. She doesn't really know how our, um our family works just yet and she she doesn't really she doesn't really mean things and Megumi's all like you know Kiyoshi just you know just quiet down and you know let me handle this whole thing I understand that she's your fiance right now but like she needs to understand her place in this family and I'm going to let her know that and she's all like honestly while we're on the topic Hana I do need to let you know that I know you've been going to a local like common school but honestly after your school holiday is over you're going to be going to a, a boarding school or a, a global boarding school you'll be traveling there from home you won't be living on campus or anything but that's the new school you're going to be going to so that you can kind of gain some class about yourself and just you know gain some cooth and so obviously that's news to Hana because she's all like I mean what's wrong with the school that I go to now and she's all like well I mean I guess that's fine for common folk but it's not it's not fine. Oh, can we all sit down? I swear to goodness, these restaurants will be the death of me. <laughs> but um, she, she's all like, the school you go to now is fine for common folk, but you, we need for you to gain some cooth and some class about you. And if you go to uh, Windenburg Global, which is the, the school that we have enrolled you into, you will gain that class that you are pretty much lacking right now. And so Hana is really processing all this and she's like they're really trying to have me really meld into this ideal for Kiyoshi and I'm just she 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 feels overwhelmed by all of this new information. I'm gonna go ahead and have Naoki order for the table since they're all finally here. Oh my gosh it's 926. <laughs> Let me have them like order real quick and then we'll use the shift click cheat to get their meal right away because it's it's too it's too much so Nanami just is really quickly having a side conversation with Hana she's like look you really shouldn't be ruffling feathers with my parents they could really make you living with us into a nightmare and I was like I know but like you don't understand what this is like for me right now and she's like I understand but like please just trust me with this like I think you are starting off on the wrong foot and I just don't want to see anything bad happen she's like look Nanami if you really want to be my friend then I really need for you to be upfront with me about 
about what's going on with your family and now might not be the best place to have that conversation but maybe tomorrow we could get together and have a conversation about that and he's like look sure we haven't really had a chance to discuss you know us getting to know each other better and you understand the family better so i'm definitely for us meeting together and having a conversation tomorrow but for right now just kind of cool it for a minute and just try not to ruffle too many tethers and look they got their food uh, oh it looks so good amazing but they're just gonna try and have a good night. Megumi's kind of seething, although the romantic atmosphere is kind of like helping her like ignore Hana a bit and just focus on the fact that Naoki brought them out to eat here and got them some good food. I am gonna let them have that and we're gonna end the episode here. But guys, let me know what you think is going to happen from here on out. Do you think that Hana is going to figure out how to gain the upper hand here. How do you think her transferring to Windenburg Global is going to go for her? Do you think that's going to make things tougher for her? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. But as always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay dazzled. I will see you in the next one. Bye.